Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hi, hello, I'm Lydia and yes I'm wearing a bear hoodie. I'm cold. <laughs> so today I want to talk about trauma disorders. We've got DID. PTSD, CPTSD, BPD. So I'm going to be specifically talking about PTSD because that is what I'm diagnosed with. PTSD is an abbreviation of post-traumatic stress disorder. PTSD affects people in different ways. It can cause flashbacks, night terrors, you name it. It can cause it. emotional dysregulation. I'm getting Hogwarts Legacy on Tuesday when it comes out and I'm so excited. But PTSD. With PTSD and me, it affects me in a way that it's so hard to explain. I have a lot of night terrors. I wake up screaming. Sometimes I talk in my sleep and it wakes me up. I wake up crying. Then there's in the day. Now I'm on a lot of medication that does suppress a lot of my mental health. In a day, I have flashback, panic attacks because of my vivid memories. It's just horrible. Now I've never done any trauma therapy because I've always been too unstable. But because I've been stable for five months ago. So it was in May, I was in hospital. And coming from that, I want to start trauma therapy. I think it could really help me. PTSD has taken a lot in my life. When I was in hospital, it, it gets worse. And you always using PRM. PTSD is really a hard disorder to live with. PTSD is a struggle. And anyone who lives with it knows how hard it can be to just go out. We have to live with our triggers, which can be anything. So PTSD and me, how does that come together? So I was diagnosed with PTSD after my ex-boyfriend committed suicide in front of me. He jumped in front of a train, which traumatised me. And it's affected me ever since. Even now, getting on the underground is something that I struggle with because I'm so afraid I'm going to witness someone else do the same thing. But I have to try and remind myself that he was unwell. I'd just broken up with him. And that situation is very unlikely to occur again. But don't get me wrong, other things have happened in my life. I've been raped. I struggle every day with, my, with it. And even though I'm on medication that dims the effects, it still affects me. My ankle is killing me. Long story short, I fell along the stairs and I landed on my ankle. And my knee, which I just had my knee x rayed. <laughs> and then I fall along the stairs after. I can't win. But. PTSD is one of the hardest things I have to deal with. It doesn't switch off. You don't have episodes of PTSD. It's there all the time. With bipolar, I'm not manic and I'm not depressed. I'm in the middle ground. In the safe space. <laughs> With DPD, I feel fine. But that's because I'm medicated. I'm on a mood stabiliser. I'm on antipsychotic. I'm on two anti What I want to say is to anyone out there who struggles with PTSD is you're not alone. There are other people involved. If you yeah, ever need anyone to talk to, feel free to message me. And I'll try and answer. Warning, I am very bad at answering messages, but I will try and remember to check my messages. But like, that's all I've got to say on the matter. If you think I missed anything, leave it in the comments down below. If you've got any questions or video requests, leave it in the comments down below. And if you didn't see my last video, because hardly anyone saw my last video, because I uploaded it at midday, sorry, I'll link that up there. Right up there. So, thank you for watching, and if you're new, subscribe. I, I'm not always a bear, I promise. Sometimes I'm a bunny rabbit. Peace.